We will do our standing warm-ups. In fact, let's warm up extra good because it's chilly here again. So we'll do our three-part breath, breath of joy. Remember, it's inhale to the front, pull out to the side, still inhaling, finish inhaling on the way up, and then bend your knees and exhale with a ha. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Inhale, 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 ha. Inhale, 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 ha. Inhale, 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 ha. In, 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 ha. In, 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 ha. Front, sides, top, ha. Front, sides, top, ha. Front, sides, top, ha. One more and let's hit. And come back into mountain pose. Hopefully feel a little more energy and circulation going through your body. Take a moment, just breathing. Get your alignment, toes straight ahead, knees going towards your second toe, sitting bones down. Ribs in and up and get that core supporting your spine, ground reaching high. Relax your shoulders down, keep those shoulder blades going toward your waist. And just take a moment, breathing, connecting, spread your toes out. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows on the back. Inhale, bring your arms to the front, and exhale, hands behind you. Just clasp them. Press the fingers toward the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back just slightly, but remember, don't lift your chin and your body. Exhale, pivot over, hands up, head down, spread your toes. Move your chin, release any tension in your neck. And straighten your knees as much as you can for a hamstring stretch on the back of your legs. And then bending your knees, slowly work from the bottom of the spine all the way up into a back bend. So head back, chest high, shoulders down. Keep breathing and spreading your toes, and stretching your spine. Inhale, upright, release your arms, and take a moment just feeling what your body is doing. And we'll do the same thing, inhaling at shoulder level. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front. Clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, one position over with those fingers. As you lift your heart, stretch your head back. Exhale, pivot at your hips, just gently coming over as deeply as you want. Lift your toes, spread them out. Bring your hands toward your head, get those shoulders working a little bit more. And again, on an inhalation, work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way into the back bend. And again, drop those shoulders and shoulder blades and stretch your hips slightly back. And after a few breaths there, inhale upright back into mountain pose. Just take a moment, feeling that spine getting more energized. And let's bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the arms apart and bring your body over to the side without twisting. Push your foot down. Feel those ribs open a little bit more. Inhale up. Exhale back down. Feel that side more open. So now we got to balance the body. Arm out, shoulder level, palm up. Hand above your shoulder, push the hands away, lean to the side, and put your leaning away from goes deeper for that extra stretch. Feel your body lengthening and moving. Inhale back up, exhale the arm down. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, just releasing that for the back area. And we'll do our twists. So remember, really stretch your spine apart, base of the spine, base of the skull, opening up. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Pull your arms back by your ears, stretch the sitting bones down and the climb up. Exhale and turn to one side to twist. Take a breath and exhale over. 
Take a few breaths there as you get into that forward position in your twist. Check that your weight is still on both feet. Your toes are spread and your sitting bones are lifting. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep the weight on both feet as you come back up in the twist and lift your heart for an upper body back bend, especially when you're twisting because we don't want to overdo that low down. Stretch the elbows back and the chest high and the shoulders down. Inhale, upright. Exhale, around to the center. Switch your arms. Spread your toes. And stretch your spine. And exhale to the opposite twist. And a breath in. And then exhale over there. And just take a breath or two there. Relax in. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Lift the sitting bones a little bit more. Keep your arms by your ears and slowly work your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back, and just gently stretch your head. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Keep your shoulders down, bring your fingertips up, sink evenly into your feet. Swan dive, arms at shoulder level, chest bleeding, and come all the way to perpendicular to the floor. No, I guess that's parallel. Stretch it out and then drop into red. Don't just deepen as much as you'd like. You can put your hands behind your legs and get a good stretch on your back a little bit more. And then arms back to the front. And again, from the bottom of the spine, wind your way up. See if you feel all those bones moving into place as you go. And as you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, focusing inward and feeling that warmth through your upper body and your legs a little bit more stretched out. Separate the spine. Get it nice and open to twist, and let's just gently go side to side. Keep the head reaching up, and just follow those heels from one side around to the other. And just as deeply into that as you want. And then bring your hands onto your back, heels of the palms on your lower shoulder behind blades, fingertips down towards your hips, and then pull your elbows toward each other. Spread your toes, everything aligned in mountain pose. Keep your hips over your ankles. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too much. Keep stretching the back of your neck. Keep pressing the hands into that low back for some nice low back support as you lift your heart and move as deeply into that back bend as your body feels appropriate today. And then chin towards your chest, inhaling, come on back up. And just take a moment, feeling your circulation through the whole spine. Take a breath, exhale, tension, and bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, inhale, bringing them up towards the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs and pull the hands back behind you as much as you want, lifting your heart, stretching your neck, your whole spine as you dive there. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, exhale, drop into red doll. Slide your hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight and stretching. And then exhale, arms down, tucking your chin just a little. And again, hands together, inhaling, coming again into your back bend, lifting your heart, pulling those thumbs as far back as your back bend wants, hips above your ankles, and evenly distributing your weight into those feet. And then separate your hands, come on back up, bring those arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, chest leading, coming down, stretch it out halfway, and then drop into right dog. Pull in a little deeper, pull your chin in, head towards your knees just slightly, and then bend your knees, drop your arms, and come all the way to the floor into our transition child pose. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down toward the front. 
and just pull your knees together, get a good back stretch if you want. Or separate them and just relax a little more easily. And then as you inhale, bring your hands to the front, toward the sides of the mat. We're going to pivot up and slide those feet back. Drop your hips, roll slowly all the way down onto your belly. Turn your head to one side, hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, resting crocodile. Take a breath. Exhale and turn your head to the other side. And just take a moment there, breathing, relaxing. Feel your feet, make them hip width apart. Settle your hips into the floor. We're going to turn the forehead to the mat. Bring your arms out in front of you at shoulder width apart. And breathe. Bring your fingertips to the heels of your palms. Bring the fingers to the floor and your hands back that length of your hands. Elbows bending out toward the sides of your mat. And with your forehead starting on the floor, we're going to inhale, turning the face to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Tuck your chin back toward your chest with that neck stretched out, chest forward and up, and come into that upper body cobra. So this one's way up there in that neck shoulder area for the contraction point. Just feel it, stretch it out, keep breathing. Keep that chest moving forward and up and the shoulders and shoulder blades down towards your waist. You're on your ribs, you're on your hips, you're on your lower body, just sinking down, nothing going on down there. Just a little upper body back down. And as you exhale, slowly bring your forehead back down toward the floor. And relax. Take a breath. Tension out. Chin tucked in slightly, keeping that neck stretching behind you. Fingertips into the heel of your palm. Again, hands closer to your head, not all the way. Elbows out toward the sides. Relax the hips. Each hip width apart. And again, inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck the chin back in, stretch the back of your neck. Bring your chest forward and up. You're still on those ribs in front of you and your hips and your legs. Crown toward the ceiling or a little bit forward and stretch that chest forward and up and those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Feel your spine in its back bend. This time a little bit more toward that heart, upper shoulder blade area. Take a breath. Maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice. Don't go so high if it feels wrong. And then again, on an exhalation, bring your forehead back slowly down toward the floor, tucking in your chin slightly and relaxing as you get down. Fingertips again into your hands. Hands coming back probably about temple level this time. Elbows way out to the sides. Forehead starts on the floor. Relax those hips down. Feet hip with the front. Inhale, face to the front. Round up. Tuck the chin back slightly towards your chest. And bring your chest forward and up. Heart area opening. Really down into that shoulder blade, lower shoulder blade area with this back bend this time. Not a lot of pressure, remember, in the hands or arms. They're just positioning you, getting you ready for that shoulder blade area back there. Take a breath. Stretch the back of your neck out through the crown. Chest forward and up. Keep breathing. And just maximize or minimize for your body. You can be lower toward the floor if that's better for you. Take another breath. And as you exhale again, slowly pivot back down. So as you noticed while we were doing that, the further out your arms are, the higher up your neck and shoulder area, get the back bend maximizing. Middle is that heart area. Closer to your temple level is your shoulder blade area. And if you come all the way back toward your Shoulders, it's going into your lower back, so don't go there. Pick your place, choose your level, 
And again, starting with the hands where they are, right in front of your shoulders, elbows out to the sides, forehead starts on the floor. And inhale, face forward, crown up, chest forward and up, chin slightly in, and back of your neck stretching, whichever level you went to. Notice where that contraction is maximizing, if that was the wrong place. Go ahead, exhaling down, move your hands wherever they should have been. Further out is higher up towards your neck. Closer to your shoulders is further down towards your middle or even lower back. Don't go too far. Take a breath. Remember, no pressure in those arms, just positioning with them. Take one more breath, bringing the heart maybe a little further forward and up. Feel those shoulder blades really sinking down into your lower back. Take another breath and once more exhale, coming all the way, forehead to the floor. This time when you get all the way down, bring your hands back under your shoulder. You're gonna press into both hands and push all the way back into child's pose. Hands at your feet and forehead down toward the floor. Nice little forward bend, counteracting our back bends. Just take a breath and relax. And then sitting up on your heels, we're going to come all the way up onto the knees. So if you need to, you can fold your mat and put extra cushioning under your knees. We're going to have the hips right above the knees and the shoulders above the hips. And we're going to take our hands again. Heel of the palm at the lower shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your hips, elbows moving toward each other, hands pressing into that lower back. Keep the hips above the knees and look up toward the ceiling. Don't lift the chin too high though. You want to keep supported, coming into this supported camel. So chest forward and up, head stretching back with the chin not lifting too much. And just feel that back bend through your whole back. Take a breath. Just relax. Shoulder blades toward your waist, shoulders releasing, and stretching away and just really lifting. And then chin toward your chest, exhaling, release your hands. And again, pivot back, hips to your heels. Hands, palms up at your sides, and forehead down toward the floor. Take a few breaths there, feeling that nice forward bend, feeling a good stretch going through your whole body. And bring your hands again to the front toward the sides of the mat. Pivot up, and we're going to go all the way down again into resting crocodile. Head to one side, shoulders down, and relax. Hands, palms up at your sides. Feet hip width apart. Let that lower back sink. Lower body sink into the floor. On an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. And again, just stretch that neck evenly on both sides. Deep breath in. Exhaling tension. And then facing the floor, Slide your chin forward, turn your hands, palms up, and bring those hip hands, thumbs under your thighs, shoulders in and down toward the floor. And we're going to slide the feet back, push those hip bones down toward the floor, and then focus on your right foot and keep stretching it out, keep the knees straight, and lift that leg. The hip bones both stay down, so just keep pressing down into the floor. Shoulders down, chin forward. If that gets too much on your neck, you can tip your forehead to the floor. Stretch that leg out, lift it maybe a little higher, press those hip bones down, feel that lower back getting a little bit more of a back bend. Take a breath. Stretch it out and keep stretching as you exhale, lowering the foot back to the floor. Tuck your forehead back to the mat and relax. Move those hips around if you need to. Getting things even again so we can stretch those legs back. 
And stretch the left foot this time out as you bring that leg up toward the ceiling. So foot coming up, hips going down, legs straight, knees straight, chin forward, shoulders down, and your whole body maximizing that back bend in the lower back this time. Take a breath, lift that leg a little higher if it wants to go. And again, stretch it out through those toes as you exhale that foot back down. When it gets all the way down again, touch your forehead to the floor. And of course, we're going to do both feet together this next time. So clasp your hands under you or turn the palms down. Chin sliding forward, shoulders to the mat. Feet stretching back evenly, hip width apart. And then pressing your hips, pelvis down into your arms or hands. Stretch the toes back as you lift both feet up. Just a little or further, whatever works for your back. So remember, the spine is supporting you here. Just let it happen. Go as far as it wants, and then don't go any further. Don't overdo. We don't want to stress and strain that lower back. We just want to strengthen it. So go ahead, stretch and lift maybe a little higher if that's working for you. Take a breath. Keep working it as much or as little as you need on this part of your body. Remember, personal practice, always. Take a breath. Lift a little higher or not. Stretch it out, and then on an exhalation, slowly lower the feet to the floor. And when they get down, you can release your arms and hands. Turn your forehead toward the mat. Bring your hands again under your shoulders. Press up and back. And again, into a nice forward bend in child's pose. Forehead forward. Spine stretching along the back of your body. Take a breath. Just exhale any tension. Deep breaths. Shoulders relaxing. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels and slide off, bringing your legs all the way to the end of the back into scap position. Core activated, shoulders down, spine straight, shoulders above your hips, press out through the bottoms of your feet, relax the back of your legs. Use your core for support, roll slightly down. So feel that working as you pause, coming onto your sacrum, lower back, just pause. And again, coming a little lower, toward your bottom ribs, bend your lower shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders and your head to the floor. Take a moment, recline integration. Breathe and relax. Sitting bones toward your heels, bend your heels in, and bring them right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. So remember, roll in so that they're not flopping apart. Hands, palms down at your sides, shoulders and shoulder blades toward the floor. Slide those sitting bones further toward the heels. Press that floor down. And then tuck the sitting bones back down, lift the ribs up. Get that space so you're arched from your sitting bones to your shoulder blades. And just a few times doing that back strengthener and core turner. Pressing down, sitting bones toward your heels. Put your mind where the work is. Arching up, getting that back, having a nice little back bend, strengthening it. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Just notice how that part of your body is working today. And then coming back to neutral, bring your arms out to T position, palms up, and stretch your legs out. Feet hip-width apart, sitting bones toward your heels slightly, press that low back down, bend your right leg, put the foot on the left side, 
We're going to roll all the way to the left side, all the way to hands together, knee to the floor, keep your head on the mat or put padding under it if you need. Take your left hand on the right knee, right arm right above your shoulder, palm open, fingertips up to the ceiling. Keep the palm open toward the ceiling as you bring the back of your hand behind you, turning to look at it as you lower that hand straight back from your shoulder to the floor. So that chest area and heart area are nice and open in your twist. Knee down. That maximizes the lower back twist. If you need to let a little pillow be under that knee, that's okay. Do what's right for your back. Hand coming down, just let gravity do that work on your middle back twist. As you release the tension in those ligaments, your hand will come lower if it hasn't already. Let it happen, but don't force it. And turn your head, that's your neck area twist. Looking at that hand behind you as much as your neck needs today. Just gentle, deep breaths. Exhaling and releasing. Letting those ligaments release and your hand drop further, shoulder drop further toward the floor. And of course, hold these twists on your own for more effectiveness. But for right now, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, and get ready to just observe that twist energy through you as we prepare to twist the opposite way. So again, shoulders down, hands, palms up, feet hip width apart, sitting on slightly toward your heels, bending your left leg, look to the right side, roll all the way over, keeping your head down on the floor as you go, bringing the knee over and the hands together in front of you. Knee on the floor, held by your right hand, left arm straight up toward the ceiling, palm open as you lower that hand behind you into your twist. Turn and look toward that hand with your neck area twist. Knee down for that lower back twist. And again, just maximize or minimize where you are in your twist on this side. It may be one side is tighter than the other. Don't worry about it. Just do what's right for you. Let gravity do the work. Just relax. And turn only as much as feels right for your neck and shoulder. Knee down only as much as feels right for your lower back. And just letting gravity pull your hand whenever that middle back is ready to twist. Take another breath. Just emphasize the exhalation, letting your twist happen. And of course, too soon we have to release it. Go ahead and let go of the knee. Roll onto your back. Slide that foot near the other one. Bring your hands near your sides, but slightly away, palms up wherever feels right for your shoulders to release and your upper body to relax. Turn the toes toward each other and then just let your legs completely relax wherever those feet release. Take a breath, soften your face, exhale tension. And just let your body grow heavy. And sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths in. Let any tension left in your body release. Exhaling any tightness. Just let your body go. Make any adjustments you need to make yourself more comfortable. <coughs> and just completely relax. And as your body softens and sinks, just let it go deep into that earth support. And let awareness of your body release from your mind. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. You don't need to think about your body or anything else. Just let the thoughts float in and out as easily as your breath. Flowing in and out without attention. As you breathe more deeply and allow your breath to fill and your mind to empty, just allow those thoughts of the past or anticipation of the future 
to release. No need for memories, no need for planning. Just let those thoughts drift away without attention. Deep breaths. Body relaxing, mind just drifting. And allow yourself a few moments of peace. Filling your body, filling your mind with that peace deep within. If that relaxation is feeling really good today, just take as much time as you have to keep relaxing. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. And with each breath, and each stretch, just get ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, bring your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a good stretch across the back of your body. Let your arms wrap around for that hug, letting your body know you appreciate this yoga today. And the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release that hug and appreciation moment, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me today.